how's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel for episode 22 for League of Legends top 10 series. This week we'll be showcasing some insane mechanical outplays, solo carry moments, and even a level 1 play that's so ham you just have to see it. Let's start things off with an excellent Rakan play featuring Shining Upon You playing in Challenger ELO and at the start we can see his team is playing maybe a bit too aggressive for this kill on Cassio. The enemy Morgana lands her binding on Orn and they look to chase Rakan but he sees the opening to turn around with LeBlanc and they combo for a clean 4 kills. Savage Pigeon earns the next place in her lineup for some ballsy Swain play being the monster his team needs to fight back after losing Alawi. Coming up next, we have Chin on Ezreal, but big props to his Thresh as well because their synergy is on point. No matter how many people trickle into bot lane, Thresh and Ezreal outplay. The Black Rose takes the next spot in her lineup with an excellent play on Ash, pushing the champion's limits to carry a team fight. She shows up and starts to dish out some damage, getting some value out of Hurricane, but then Shinzao goes in on her, but her team collapses for the kill. The enemy Fizz wants to get into the backline to finish off Wukong, so she flashes the E and actually presses forward with Hawkshot to Grant Vision. Fizz goes down, followed immediately by Kench for the back-to-back -back takedowns, and with only Orn left alive and no vision of the brush, it's gonna be a close one. Our number 6 play for this week features Nero Dragneo on Yasuo and although this play isn't super game changing like our last, the outplays are just way too good. Let's get into the top 5 plays of this week's lineup, starting with Amino Blue on Rise, beautifully comboing his abilities to get shields and move speed at the perfect times. After taking down Akali, he looks to go on Graves, but Janna and Pantheon show up, so he waits to spread Flux to hit all 3 and then he tries to speed out of there. Pantheon is Ghost Blade, so he quickly shields as much damage as possible while eating the stun, and then afterwards pops another shield from Saris before comboing again for another speed boost. With Graves coming, he has to do something, so he looks to finish Pantheon while getting another shield and turns on Graves to eliminate the final source of damage. Darlico takes the number 4 spot for this week with an amazing Irelia play at a crucial fight around the Baron. A great ultimate delays the enemy team's follow up to Maokai's engage and then Darlico goes in landing an insane 4 man stun to set up him and his team for the pop off. I said at the beginning of the video that we have a level 1 play to feature that you have to see, and well, here we are. Scion and friends have a suspicion that maybe someone might be in that bush, and Scion decides he'll trade his flash for a kill on anyone that might be in there. Good choice. Normally, I wouldn't classify this as a top 10 sort of play just because there isn't some big outplay, but I've never seen anything like this, so we made the exception. Lemur comes in at second place in the lineup with an overall incredible Zoe play in a Challenger ELO game.
And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Blomster Finn on Irelia, and let's start this play with her all the way up in the top lane. She notices a big fight is breaking out, and mind you, it's very early into the game with all champions level 2 or 3 at the moment. Her plan is to teleport into the fight, which will make Vladimir teleport as well, and so the clown fiesta begins. Despite being so early into the game, Blomster does so much work in this clip with all of her abilities finding insane value. Keep a close eye on her stuns throughout this play and her use of Q to navigate the fight and dodge crucial abilities. Challenger EUS at its finest. Good morning, eyes open. I can see the light shining through. Good morning, blinds open. I'm coming home to you. Soft with the weather, cool with the breeze. Flip through the pages of reality. Flow like a feather out to the sea. Roll that was a super fun lineup, and now we have some bonus plays or honorable mentions I'd like to showcase for the remainder of the video. Many of these plays are good enough to make the core lineup at the number 9 or 10 spot, but for many reasons like variety, we decided to feature them here instead. While they play out, I wanted to announce that we just recently started our Instagram and we'll be putting plays on there, doing giveaways from time to time, and letting you guys know important updates on the channel. I'll put a link at the top of the description box so you can easily find it and give us a follow because we plan on posting some really cool stuff over there. I also wanted to thank Hideout.gg for sponsoring this video and helping support our crew so we can make fun videos like this one. If you've never heard of them or hear me mention them on other videos but haven't given them a shot yet, I'd highly recommend it to anyone here. It's a free program that'll capture your gameplay and you can use their built-in clipping software to submit your plays to us to be featured in a future video. Not only does the program do gameplay capture, but it does a whole bunch of other things like screen share, voice communication with friends, and we even have our own community server you can join. I'll also include a link to download Hideout for free in the description and it'll automatically join our server so come chat and say hi. I can't say more good things about Hideout, it's a really awesome program to have alongside your discords, low whiz, and things like that. Thanks for hearing me out, and I really appreciate anyone that's made it this far into the video. From everyone here on the Potato Monster team, thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of the plays to come, and have a wonderful day. You know my tears, they run wild